the world's bird resource began about 103 million years ago. They had not only a beak but also teeth. There were also bones between the wings of those birds. And no doubt almost all of you have seen bird nests. But do you know why birds make bird nests? Birds do not build nests to live in them forever. They only use them once a year for about a month. They lay eggs and wait until they hatch and grow so that they can fly. But why do only birds make nests? We have not seen mammals making nests at the time of calving. Mammals give birth to a calf that is prepared for ambient temperature. Before reaching that stage, it lives in the mother's womb at a temperature higher than ambient temperature. But birds lay eggs. The life in this egg needs a temperature higher than ambient temperature. What is done here is to give the eggs a higher temperature than the ambient temperature. Similarly, to get a chick from any bird's egg, it must be warm. The bird gives this warmth to the eggs by staying on top of them. In this case, the nest is needed so that the body temperature of the bird does not go out and only reaches the eggs. Birds in different parts of the world differ in the form of nests they make. But they also have commonalities. Building a nest with one concern for the safety of the chick is one thing in common. Another similarity is the finishing of the nest according to the tradition inherited from generation to generation. Most species of birds determine the location of the nest, which is determined by the male bird itself. According to scientific researches, there are some changes in their hormones that lead birds to build nests. Asian Coel is a bird that does not make nests, they lay eggs secretly in the crow's nests. The penguin is also a bird that does not build nests to lay eggs. They hatch their eggs keeping on both legs. The hummingbird, the smallest bird in the world, is also the smallest nesting bird. Its nest is no bigger than a lime. The world's largest bird's nest is made up of eagles. Once found, their nest was about 3 meters in diameter. Zoologists believe that this cage has been used by generations of eagles. The Megapoda bird from Australia, makes their nest to 30 to 60 feet in length and 15 feet in height. South American bird called Hornero, which makes nests on trees, from mud. It takes long time to build nest. That is to protect the eggs from enemies. The chipping sparrow uses the fur of horses or cows entirely for its nest. The crow uses whatever catches its beak for its nets. Even pieces of wire have been found in crow's cages. Some birds make powder to seduce the bird. The weaver bird is an example. The weaver's nest in Africa is well known around the world. Seven or eight families live in its haystack nests. The bato or appendula is a bird that lives mostly on the northwestern Colombia. Their nests in the swamps are like a bag hanging from tree branches. The nest is made of twigs bent towards the water. Only pendulum males build such nests. Nuthatch is a good mason. If it sees a large hole in a tree, it will make the hole smaller using mud around it and make it smaller so that only the bird can barely get in and out. Then it can escape from its enemy, the nests of the golden eagles are made to hang down from trees. At the top of the cliffs, they form nests. The nest is made on the tips of the branches and wrapped around by grass. Year after year it renews the cage in this way. Golden eagles are currently found only in Scotland. Crossbill builds its nest high up in conifer trees to protect them. The nest is built by females they use bird feathers and rabbit fur to keep the warm inside. The dipper is a small dark brown and white bird. They are found near mountain waterways. These birds are found in northern and western England as well as in Wales and Scotland. Some of these birds build their nests in moss among the cracked rocks and dive into the water to find food. The great crested greed collects flakes and makes a floating nests on the water. When the birds go out of the nests, they cover their eggs with wet grass to protect them.